Introduction The Black Sea region has been a crucial focus point for NATO due to the recent developments in the area, particularly the Russian assertiveness and intervention into the region's affairs. The region comprises various countries such as Ukraine, Georgia, Bulgaria, Romania, and Turkey. With Russia's aggressive posture in the region and the annexation of Crimea in 2014, NATO has increasingly been concerned about the security and stability of its allies in the region. This article aims to assess NATO's response to Russian assertiveness in the Black Sea region. It primarily focuses on the measures and strategies adopted by NATO to address Russia's military buildup, hybrid warfare, and political influence in the region. Russian aggression in the Black Sea region Russia's assertiveness in the Black Sea region has significantly destabilized the region, and NATO has taken note of this. In particular, Russia has been increasing its military presence in the Black Sea through various military drills, naval exercises, and provocative incidents. Russian ships have been accused of harassing the ships of NATO allies in the region. Moscow has also deployed land-based missile systems and air defense units in Crimea, which poses an immediate threat to Ukraine and its neighboring countries. Furthermore, Russia has been accused of sponsoring separatist movements in the region, such as in eastern Ukraine, Abkhazia, and South Ossetia. NATO's response NATO's response to Russian aggression in the Black Sea region has been multifaceted. The alliance has adopted various measures to address the various challenges posed by Russia in the region. These can be categorized into military, diplomatic, and economic measures. Military measures One of the most critical aspects of NATO's response has been its military measures. The alliance has increased its military presence in the region by conducting various military exercises and joint operations with its allied forces. For instance, the alliance has conducted several naval exercises in the Black Sea region, such as Sea Breeze and Dynamic Manta. These operations involve a large number of participating countries, including Romania, Bulgaria, Georgia, and Ukraine. NATO has also ramped up its air policing missions over the region to deter Russian incursions. In addition, NATO has taken steps to enhance the military capabilities of its allied nations in the region. For instance, the alliance has launched the NATO-Ukraine Joint Working Group on Defense and Security Reforms to provide assistance and training to the Ukrainian armed forces. NATO has also provided military aid to Georgia to enhance its defense capabilities. Diplomatic measures NATO has also taken diplomatic measures to address Russian aggression in the Black Sea region. region. The alliance has actively engaged with its allies in the region and has established closer ties with Ukraine and Georgia. NATO has also signed several agreements with these countries, such as the NATO-Georgia Joint Training and Evaluation Center and the NATO-Ukraine Distinctive Partnership. These agreements aim to enhance the cooperation between NATO and its allies in the region, particularly in terms of defense and security. Furthermore, NATO has also been engaging with Russia through various channels to encourage dialogue and reduce tensions. The alliance has reiterated its commitment to the NATO-Russia Founding Act, which seeks to promote peace, stability, and cooperation in the Euro-Atlantic region. Economic Measures NATO has also taken economic measures to address the security challenges posed by Russia in the Black Sea region. The alliance has initiated various economic and energy projects in the region to enhance the economic capacity of its allies. For instance, NATO has launched the Black Sea Energy and Economic Forum to promote economic development and cooperation among the countries in the region. The alliance has also lent its support to various projects, such as the Southern Gas Corridor and the Rail Baltic Project, to increase the energy and transportation connectivity of its allies in the region. Conclusion In conclusion, NATO's response to Russian aggression in the Black Sea region has been robust and multifaceted. The alliance has adopted a combination of military, diplomatic, and economic measures to address the various security challenges posed by Russia in the region. 
However, the situation remains fragile, and Russia's continued assertiveness in the region is a cause for concern. NATO must continue to actively engage with its allies in the region and step up its efforts to prevent further escalation of the crisis. Ultimately, a peaceful resolution to the conflict in the region is in the best interest of all parties involved, and NATO's role in achieving this goal should not be underestimated.